POV. I watched Dance Moms. Now, as we get into chapter one, we play the role as dude, but we wake up in his dreams. This is actually all a nightmare. It's all a part of his subconscious. And we start off the level with probably the most terrifying thing known to man, the suburbs. We wake up in a house that is clearly not our own based off of the uh, people screaming and running. <laughs> These are actually the pastel people. They're uh, faceless white people, more like filler. You can choose to not harm them, but if you do, uh, they drop a Walmart bag uh, that refills one health and one ammo. As you enter, you'll, you'll make your way to your garage, and that's where you'll inquire your first weapon, the shovel. This thing's a monster. It is a motorized chainsaw shovel. After we get the shovel, we, uh, we grab a key from the next room and politely make our way back upstairs to the attic to see if we can find some help and are unfortunately encountered with conflict. It turns out that we are not welcome here. We were shot by a common enemy known as the Veteran. The Veteran is your typical red hat, southern twang, shotgun wielding, fortunate son singing old dude. They're everywhere. They're a plague. But not only do we just get shot at, we now have the ability to shoot back. On your way back out of the attic, you can find yourself the not so smart MK420 smart pistol. It can two shot a lot of things and has a function where if you use your typical aim down sights, what will appear is a, a HUD that will fire out three um, to a burst fire. As we make our way outside, we uh, encounter some more disgruntled members of society, and we pet a cat. It then introduces uh, how to piss. As we make our way through the newly opened entrance to the garage, we are met with two of many dogs that will appear in the game. These are golden retrievers. I swear they don't bite. They just need to sniff you first. They just don't bite. I swear to God. Thank you. As you make your way to the end of the street, you'll find yourself the Burger Boy. The Burger Boy is one of my favorites because he floats around with this cute little hat and uh, he says some funny shit like, My shoe hurts! And uh... Once you make your way down to the end of the street, you'll encounter this, uh, Despicable Me Guru type house. And in the front yard, you'll find your first... But you know, when you're done with him, you make your way into the house, and in the living room you will find the Super Hooker Shotgun. Obviously it is uh, just a rip of the Doom Eternal Shotgun, but I, I love it anyway. It's it's less automated than the Doom Eternal Shotgun. It really it allows you to go flying if you can keep the momentum going. Golden Retriever, but meaner. That is literally its name. point in the level that it, it allows you to explore a little bit for for yourself there are posters and secrets all over the place uh that you can find which i will leave for you yourself to do because this game is fun and I, I i encourage you to play it but after you get your way to the second island you head over to the tunnels and get yourself another key for a house up on the hills and make your way up there you fight your way all the way up to the very top and then at the top house you have your final battle and we can finally have our tv
Once we wake up from a totally just and probably non-violent arresting from the cops, we find ourselves in jail. But luckily we have a, uh, a, a way out and we haven't been stripped of our weapons. So through the back, <laughs> Shawshank Redemption <laughs> style, we can tear down a poster and blow a hole through the sewers. In this series, we are introduced to three new types of enemies. We have Arseface, who has an absolute unit of a dumpy. We have Cheer Killer, who has experienced the unfortunate result of finding out what Updog is. And we have Saxabone. Uh, they kind of phoned it in on this one. This one is just like the most normal band kit I've ever seen.